Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Karen from Karen's Kitchen 6. Welcome back to yet another edition of Cooking with Me in the Kitchen. Guys, today instead of cooking, we're going to be baking, and these are the ingredients that I will be using. I've got some ground cloves, lime juice, some five spices, cinnamon powder, my nutmeg, sugar, butter. Vanilla, browning, baking powder, almond extract, one lemon, some salt, my measuring spoons and the grated for our lemon, our eggs, our fruits, our baking tins, the wooden spoon that we'll be using. Of course I'm using some plain flour as well as raised self-raising flour. I like to mix both flour together when I'm baking. I've got my mixer over there and over in that corner there is a blender for blending our fruits. Guys, let's start making our Christmas cake. What you do is to cream your sugar and your butter um, together and you want to get a um, fluffy um, consistency. And at this point, I'm using 750 gram of sugar and 750 gram of butter. So we're gonna cream now, and I'm gonna start on a low um, speed. <laughs> the mixer from the corner so everything can be well mixed the beauty of using a soft and um, sugar is that um, your um, mixture and um, cream quickly yeah and also when you have your butter at um, room temperature so while so while that is happening i will break um, my eggs and um, to take away the ice i never ever bake cakes without removing the ice from the eggs so i'll be doing that in the meantime so this is what you want your um sugar and butter to look like and when you put your spoon inside you can tell if your sugar and your butter is creamed properly you will not see the grainy grainy of the sugar and you can see the smoothness of the mixture now it's time for me to add my eggs This is the reason why you want to crack your eggs um, in a container before you actually add it to the mixture. Can you see? Now the 
got my mixture is ready I will transfer it to my pudding pan I've transferred the cream mixture to my pudding pan and now it's time for me to pulse my fruits Now we'll mix this in. And guys, when you're mixing in your fruits and your flour, just mix in one um, direction, okay? This will prevent your cake from being cracked. See, I'm mixing and folding. Also gonna add just one spoonful of the fruits without blending. Time for me to add my flour, and at this point, I'm just gonna add three cups of um, plain flour. Then I'll add the other three cups of um, self-raising flour. And before that, I'm gonna sieve it. So guys, I've now added my baking powder and all my spices. So I'm just gonna mix this in. So I've added the rind of the lemon and I've also added some browning. So it's now to transfer our cake mix to our cake tins and by this time you should have your oven on it and um, I'll be using a gas oven and I'm using gas mark 4 and you will, I will bake my cake for at least two hours or until the cake is done that is you insert a knife or a toothpick or a skewer into the cake and if it comes out clean that means that your cake is properly thick. My cakes are now out of the oven. They were inside for at least one hour and twenty minutes. What I'm going to do now is douse them with some rum and um, wine and try and close these um, cracks. So this is how I close um, the cracks.
close them as best as I can. So what I do now is leave them to cool. Once they're cool, I will wrap them in greaseproof paper and file and leave them. And every week, um, I will sprinkle some rum and some wine over them just to keep them moist. see you guys when they're cool so I can cut a slice and show you so guys this cake is what I call the tester the top of it was burnt so I shaved it off I've had three slices out of it already the cake is that good honestly I'm not lying to you guys let me cut it so you can see Guys, I want to say thank you all once more for tuning in with me in my kitchen. Don't forget to follow me on and to subscribe to my invite a friend to invite a friend to invite a friend. Thank you all and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Yum. Welcome to Karen's kitchen.